The Strong Massad Denplant LT Low Temperature Impression Tray The Strong Massad Denplant Low Temperature Impression Tray is the first step in achieving custom tray quality impressions in various dental situations. This is possible by heat molding the tray intraorally for an exact fit. The trays are disposable, intended for single use only. The trays should not be autoclaved due to their thermoplastic composition. If necessary, the trays can be disinfected with an approved dental immersion cold sterilization liquid. The trays are non-sterile as supplied in the delivery container. The den plant tray is supplied in three upper and lower sizes, small, medium, and large, to accommodate any size dental arch. These trays are transparent, allowing the operator visual access to position the tray evenly around teeth, implants, and tissues for adequate and uniform impression material thickness. The den plant trays are designed with openings for improved impression material retention. However, a suitable impression material adhesive should be used for optimal results. For optimal results, it is recommended that the den plant trays be used in conjunction with a massad layering impression technique. However, they are suitable for use with any viscoelastic or alginate impression materials. Clinical use of the strong massad LT impression tray. First, select a tray that is the correct size for the patient. Any imperfections in the tray contours will be corrected by the heat molding of the tray. The purpose of the low temperature tray is to be able to customize the proper fit in a patient's mouth at a temperature that will not be uncomfortable to the patient. This is accomplished by the utilization of a controlled temperature hot water bath apparatus set at 165 degrees Fahrenheit or 74 degrees Celsius. It is important that the water temperature not exceed recommended temperature as burning or scalding of the patient or operator could result. The tray body should be immersed in the water bath at 165 degrees Fahrenheit or 74 degrees Celsius for approximately 30 seconds or until the tray becomes rubbery. The smaller trays will require less heating time compared to the larger trays. Only the body of the tray should be completely immersed in the hot water bath, held by the handle slightly outside the heated water. The tray can be manipulated to ensure that adequate flexibility has been achieved. Also, when removing the tray from the water bath, avoid shaking the water off as this will accelerate the hardening process before you place it into the mouth. Prepare your patient for insertion of the heated tray and assure them that the heat will dissipate in 5 to 10 seconds. For the maxillary arch, the use of cheek retractors will allow for rapid placement of the tray into the oral cavity. Quickly place the tray in the mouth. The operator will place a finger in the palate, seating the tray and the retractors are removed. The patient will then be instructed to suck outward, smile, and open to maximum opening. These motions should be accomplished within 10 seconds of placing the tray in the oral cavity. The resulting tray will conform to the shape of the maxillary arch. For the mandibular arch, the operator will seat the tray over the ridges. The retractors are removed, and the patient is instructed to extend the tongue, suck outward, and smile. Again, these movements should be completed within 10 seconds. The resulting tray will conform to the shape of the mandibular arch, following the ridge configuration and even adapting to moderate sized tori. If the operator deems it necessary, small modifications can be made outside of the mouth in some cases by carefully flaming specific areas of the tray to further shape and then chilling the tray in cold water to reharden. Care must be taken not to overheat the tray and to not return the tray to the patient's mouth until it has been completely chilled. The tray can be placed in and out of the mouth once hardened to allow the fit to be checked before impressioning. The appropriate sized, properly adjusted tray should leave ample, even room for impression material around all surfaces to be impressed. The borders of the tray should not impinge on any adjacent soft tissue areas. The Strong Massad Low Temp Impression Tray, the first step in a perfect impression.